If your car's been stood in torrential rain for some time, you may find when you open the back door and look down to the bottom of the footwell that the floor mats are wet through and the carpet's absolutely sodden. If you've got this problem, stay tuned and I'll show you how to fix that. As you can see here, the carpet is saturated with water and if left will eventually start to smell, so it needs attention. This has been a, a common bugbear with these Mark 1 Fabias, but can be fixed by sealing the bottom of the inner door panel as water makes its way in, into the doors by, my guess is, the window seal at the top, which then runs down onto the OEM foam seal around the inner door panel, which acts like a sponge holding the water. The water saturated foam seal then bridges water onto the actual inner panel above the door seal. And you can often feel that the bottom of the inner panel is very damp at the bottom. And then water steadily drips down onto the inner seal and then onto the footwell. But before you go ahead with this fix, do make sure that the inner door seal is in good order. It needs to be pliable and retain its original shape easily, with a rounded profile that isn't flatted off with no splits or cracks. I will give the seal a thorough clean with soapy water, including around the door frame where the seal fits. When you're happy with the door seal working ok, we can turn our attention to releasing the door panel at the bottom. These panels are held in place by a number of plastic pushing clips around the perimeter, as well as being hooked on the top of the door by a running lip on the panel. It's also secured in the centre by two large Phillips screw bolts hidden inside the handle. It's also needed to take out a further top screw hidden behind the opening handle, just behind the speaker grille. We also need to take off the winding handle, if yours has one. I'll show you that first. To remove the handle, pull up on the collar away from the knob and it will release and simply pull off. The collar part locks the handle onto the spline. The door handle is exactly like the front handles that I showed you in another video. You have to take this front panel off first by using a thin bent screwdriver or a bit of stiff wire to release the back of the panel. There is a small hole underneath that you need to insert the tool into and push up to the hook tag and then back. The idea here being you need to unhook the tag and wangle it a bit, it'll just eventually free itself. You've just got to have the sort of knack. Once you've got it off you can just see how it exactly works, how it clips on. Once you've released the back then push gently something firm and protective into the crack at the front to release two further clips. Plastic trim tools are ideal for this but if you don't have that then a, a screwdriver will suffice if you protect the end and then carefully push against the clips to release them. Just remember to take care as this plastic easily marks and disconnect the electrical window switch if you have one. The remaining door handle panel simply slides satisfyingly forwards to remove it. And if you look underneath you can see all the hook connectors running all the way along it. Put that on one side and we've revealed the two large Phillips screw bolts that we need to take out. Take those out and then there's the most difficult bit, a fiddly bit, and that's the speaker grill you've got to take off by the opening handle. You can easily damage these little uh, grills as the tags are very brittle which is what I've done on this one and had to resort to gluing it back in place. If you look carefully behind the handle lever there's a little slotted mark right in the centre which indicates where you need to push a bit of a trim tool in to depress a little catch 
the idea here being that that, that releases it but it, it doesn't necessarily do that very easily try and lift it out from the handle side and lift it outwards hinging on the pillar side with little hook tags that easily break if forced once you've got the speaker grill out take out the T15 screw just here being careful not to drop it down inside the panel although if you did it'll come out of the bottom when you take it off anyway Now slip your tool between the panel and the door and fish round for the panel clips and you want to be gently prising the clips out without breaking them if you can that is they might also pop out of the panel itself but they're easy enough to put back in and dead cheap to buy if you do break some be careful not to lose the little rubber washers because they stop the panel from rattling once you've got a few loose you can actually grab hold of the panel and ease them out with your fingers if you find that easier then gently pull it out and prop it up I've put it on the seat here without straining it too much now you can see that I've done this previously on this car in fact I did it about seven years ago so I know that it works What I did was take out the 10mm bolts that hold the metal panel and just lifted it away just enough so I could remove the bottom part of the foam seal which was absolutely drenched and deteriorated to the point where it wasn't doing any sealing at all. So then I dried it out thoroughly and replaced it with a seal of silicon. I injected it between the panel and the door and loosely put the panel back by just enough to enable me to tighten the silicon down after it had cured, making a good seal. What you can see here is a second bead of silicon that I put over the first covering to cover the whole joint. And the job's been a good one ever since. I hope this helps you out guys, and if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And as always, please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.